or 200,000 people. Uh, and it was, it was outstanding. It was a lot of, a lot of warmth. And uh, we're fighting currently, as, as uh, has, been, uh, has been said before, we're, we're, we're primarily fighting for, uh, against the tuition hike that happened, uh, that, that the government is trying to impose on students in the, in the, in the province. Uh, it's, a, it's a tuition hike by uh, over 80%, which wow. is su substantial. Wow. Uh, and, uh, and, and basically, th th this is part of the fight, but part of the, fight, uh, the other part of the fight is the, the fact that uh, this, is, this comes into the, the framework of uh, making education a commodity. Which is re really what we're, we're trying to fight in in, in this case. Uh, education is a, is a right, and that's what we're we're going after. So yeah. thank you all for being here. Thank you. Students are being squeezed everywhere. It's absolutely criminal, criminal to say you can't have a job unless you have an ed education, and then make it and, so you can't get an and education. And here, even on top of all of that, we are still living in the richest country in the entire world. Is Why is our education not free? Right. Why do we have to pay so much for our education when other countries who are not doing nearly as well as we are have free health care, free education, and housing is a human right? It's recently been announced that now the student loan debt is over one trillion dollars, yep. and student loan debt is more than the credit card debt in the United States. Sad. You can't get out from under it. I'm a bankruptcy attorney. I just talked to somebody today. Her student loan payments are twenty-six hundred dollars a month, oh, and and she is taking home eighteen hundred dollars a month. She's making fourteen dollars an hour with her master's degree, um, and some of her loans are private loans, and they will not cooperate with her, so she's going to be forced into a bankruptcy, maybe a long-term bankruptcy, just to keep herself from being garnished so she can keep a roof over her head, and there's something wrong with that. The average UW graduate has, I believe it's now $27,000 in student loans on graduation. This is a public land-grant school. I think I have about 80,000. Tars, yeah. Tars. Tars.